From a pixelated point-and-click road trip to the multi-platform throes of intergalactic conflict, the iconic dog and rabbit duo have come a long way in their episodic evolution, and it's never been more evident than in their third and newest season, The Devil's Playhouse. The big focus uh, for the season is that Max's latent psychic powers are coming to the forefront, and they're all activated by these mysterious toys that he finds. And each episode will explore, you know, a, a new one of Max's powers, and then start to learn how they work in conjunction with each other. And uh, the idea behind that was that instead of you know collecting a ton of inventory items and figuring out how I can use those, you have a smaller set of uh, psychic powers that you can use. And the puzzle solving is. Um, uh, it's not, you know, how can I find the, the best place to use this screwdriver? It's, you know, what are all the different ways that I can use teleportation? Or what are all the different ways that I can use seeing the future to my advantage? It's not quite a reboot, but we pretty much revamped everything. We, re we re revisited all our environments, all our models, everything's been retextured, and it's got a big bump up. I mean, we've learned a lot of stuff from the past, you know, few seasons of games that we've, we've been working on. I think it really shows in the express expressiveness of the characters and the more detailed textures that we have. And it's more like the feel of the comics in that it's Sam and Max are, you know, cartoon characters in a real world instead of the whole world has been changed to fit them. Even with a classic comic book, an animated show, a critically acclaimed standalone adventure, and a trailblazing episodic series under their belts, one question remains for the freelance police. What's next? Oh, season 34, season 35. Um, I think we would love to, with Sam and Max, be able to continue to do season after season and have it be something, you know, like, uh, like a great television series. And, you know, obviously with Sam and Max, uh, they've already saved the universe and defeated Satan. Um, so what else is there? We have to come up with something new every time. That's the thing with Sam and Max is you can never predict what they're going to do, you know, in the next 10 minutes, uh, much less five or ten years, um, and they're so flexible they can adapt to pretty much anything. It would be interesting to see Sam and Max doing things other than point and clicky adventure -y things. I think it would be interesting to see them in, you know, mini app situ uh, situations on other devices. The, the gag I'm always saying about for uh, Telltale is that, you know, anything that has a chip in it, we want the games to run on eventually, so that's the big reason for uh, The Devil's Playhouse showing up in the PS3 is that this is our big, um, you know, entry into a new platform, and we wanted to have the biggest and best game that we, you know we've been working on instead of just doing another port and then bringing that over to the PS3. Downloadable content is, you know, going to be, I think, in the future the way just about everything. I, I think there's totally room for adventure games, but I think even more important than that, I would say there's room for story-based games, where it's not just a you know, let's do another version of Bejeweled, or, you know, let's do another first-person shooter, but really just come up with a strong idea and then make that, you know, make that happen with a game or tell that story with a game. And that, that's, that's the biggest potential that I have. And, uh, you know, one of the great ways of doing that is through adventure games. And, and I think the most exciting thing to me is seeing people experiment with all the different ways that they can, they can uh, treat games like art again. 10, 15, or 20 years, uh, I could see uh, handing off Sam and Max to my sons as the family business, and they, these guys already have a uh, kind of bizarre sense of humor that cracks me up, so I can see them taking on the, the challenge very well.